hey guys welcome to my channel it's you are behind the camera as you can see i'm going straight to it inside the car i'm going to be talking about a few things on this car like where well, the screen in front of us uh, the instrument cluster and also the the main infotainment screen so basically i'm not going to be covering much i've already covered how this car drives i've already covered overview on it and the features and so on so if you haven't watched those videos please go check them out oh yeah and the channel is still very young please consider subscribing i look forward to engaging with you and yeah basically i will just try to answer to the best of my ability so let's just go straight into it so if you are on pack and you're trying to navigate through this instrument cluster you're not going to be able to access much uh, only the trip results and so on and so on but the moment you put your seatbelt on it's going to unlock more features of the screen basically see it's starting to show that you can access like medias and phone stuff alarm then you get to the screen where you can adjust stuff like over speed settings and it shows you when you get to the speed then uh, it's going to make an alarm and then you go to the theme selection then in there you can be able to change the theme of the screen right in front of us here so yeah let's do that then there's technology you see this is how it looks basically and then there's fashion That's how it looks. And then there's dynamic, which is the one that I started with. And my favorite, basically, because it looks a bit, you know, sporty when it's showing you the rough counter and all those. Then you go to the driving data. It's just a matter of choosing what is it that you're going to find on that screen that is locked. And it's only three things. And then the volume, which is basically just the volume for everything that's beeping inside this car. Yeah. And then going to the unit, then it's the unit of measure. Like, are you going to be using mileage on tire pressure? Are you going to be using, what is the other one? PSA or what? Yeah, those kind of things. Then the language factory settings and then maintenance miles to say how long then is it going to be to the next service. Then down there by the like line at the bottom, you can still find the settings that you can find in the main screen, which I'll show you when we get there. Let's get to the Android Auto now. So you connect it via the cable from under the bridge there. You see then you download the app, the Android Auto. Then you connect it via that. And then it's going to show that it's then highlighted there. You go in. Then it starts with the maps. I don't know why though. Yeah but yeah it starts with the maps then you click on that and then you get your menu it's going to select obviously the app that are like applicable like music and all those nice things that you can find in android it's not gonna be all the apps of course it's gonna be like mostly it's the apps that are like very how can i put it that are necessary for when you're driving you know they can't just take your games and then start putting them here and you're distracted when you're driving and so on and so on so that's the thing to take into account it's not like you're going to be finding everything uh just checking if then the sound system is working here yeah? but i will do a proper sound test like towards the end of the video so yeah so now going into the screen uh you find it off as it is now then you turn it on through this button and then you get to wherever you left the screen on i tried to keep pressing home whatever but yeah i don't know why it was not okay so then now you see now i had connected to android auto and it's it left it to where i left it on android auto basically then going back in oh i get a call that's the sound for the call anyway so yeah uh okay then it goes back to maps as i said then these are the apps that you are finding here and then to go back to the car you just click on haval then it takes you back to the other side of the screen then now back to home then this is the radio and back and then to get to the phone another thing that is very annoying is that you're going to keep pressing this touchpad for the aircon here and it keeps going on and you can still connect to another 
phone for Bluetooth and so on. And then, yeah, basically, even if you're on Android, you can still do that. So under these settings for connections, it's just a Bluetooth. You see this icon is, you keep touching this pad down here, it turns the icon on. So just be careful of it. Maybe you're wearing something that is like, touching this pad, it might turn the icon on, it, it might annoy you. And then on the call settings, as I said, it's Bluetooth settings. You can connect to another phone even when you're connected to Android Auto. Oh, I'm not talking about Apple CarPlay because that we've known even from H2 it was working. Okay, now to the display settings, you just find whatever you can change, the skin colors and uh, the driving video restriction. You know, I think that's very important to be kept at zero because you don't want to be watching a video while you're driving. And then the wallpaper selections, time and dates. Okay, now you're seeing what I was saying. And then the system info. What is this? I don't even know what's in here, man. Host system information, okay. Okay, then now back to settings. You see, told you, told you, told you. okay. Off, please. I don't know. <laughs> what should I do? Okay. And then when you go into the car, whatever settings is the one that is also reflected on the instrument cluster there by the driving one. Oh, uh, you just get to the driving settings and then, yeah, you turn those whatever on driving modes, you know, the same ones that you get when you swipe in the screen there. And yeah, light settings inside the car and comfort settings, exterior mirrors, and then front washing scraper interval, whatever they call it. Oh, what else is in there? So what else? I think that will be it. The rest you will find in the user manual, of course. And that is based on the Lux. Remember, Super Lux comes with all the bells and whistles, like uh, the wireless charging and all those others but my focus here was mainly on the screens and what you find inside of them and as i said that i'm gonna do the sound system test to me it sounds way better than the h2 because the h2 lux only has like four speakers this has six but overall uh it's not necessarily like the best but it does the job with that said thank you very much for watching and i hope I try to cover like some of the questions that have been asked. Please subscribe, like, comment, ask me anything that you want to ask. As I said, I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. And thank you very much for watching. I'm out.